Buddhist iconography, Bun iconography, and especially uh, Hindu iconography can be extremely complex. And a lot of um, the learning curve for it has to do with uh, confusions. Confusions and uh, figures that look the same, sometimes even figures that have the same name but are very different one from the other. But a figure that I've uh, recently um, um, been looking at that, that uh, where there are still quite a few confusions is a figure that is not all that um, common in art as a central figure. It's more of a secondary figure, and it is the crow-faced Mahakala. Now, this crow-faced Mahakala is also sometimes uh, translated or called raven-faced, but I believe the Sanskrit kaka, kakamuka, is, is referring more to a crow. Um, but in the Himalayas, uh, I think they place the raven a little bit higher than the crow, so they use the word raven, I think, more often, um, such as with the, the raven crown of the Bhutanese king. And the um, there's a there's a... Also, uh, uh, another hat that's used by uh, Tibetan Buddhists um, with uh, a crow or a raven on top. Uh, there's quite a number of different bird hats uh, over the over the last uh, millennium that we can we can find in art and uh, in uh, physical use. Like the even the king of Lingsang, the Lingsang Jalpo, he has a peacock um, um, head on the top of his crown. So, but anyway. Now, talking about the crow-faced Mahakala, so basically um, he's a secondary figure within the mandala of the uh, one-faced four-armed Chaturbhuja Mahakala. This is a, a, a very old system of Mahakala, uh, said to come down from Nagarjuna and then going into the Himalayas, primarily with Galotsawa. So we're really looking at, uh, at the 11th century. Um, and then it was adopted by a number of different schools, as well as um, created um, as uh, also as uh, Terma revealed treasure after that as well. So the the crow-faced Mahakala is a retinue figure within the mandala of this uh, 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 more important, more dominant Mahakala, and his primary feature is this crow crow face or crow head. Now, what's interesting is we don't often or always find wings because uh, that's not in the early descriptions. All we have in the early descriptions are the are the crow head. And then he has two arms. He holds a curved knife and a, and, um, a skull bowl. And he's w otherwise wrathful in appearance, surrounded by flames, wearing wrathful adornments and the like. Now, in art, uh, we can find this uh, crow-faced Mahakala as a central figure for painting and in, in we can find it as, as sculpture as well. We can find it as a retinue figure in paintings in the retinue of Mahakala, Chaturbhuja. We can also find, uh, we can find him sometimes with wings. We find him more often without the wings, sometimes with a consort, a uh, consort standing to the side, not in any kind of embrace but with a consort, and then uh, other times without a consort. So there's a lot of variations that can be found with the depictions of this crow-faced Mahakala. Now, he can also, he is very commonly confused for a black Garuda. And, and the most famous black Garuda is uh, in the tradition of Rechumpa, the famous student of Milarepa, uh, the black um, uh, Garuda. And... Uh, also, he can sometimes be confused with um, other kinds of uh, kyung uh, bird deities in the Bun religion. So uh, a little bit of caution has to be has to be used when uh, looking at identifying a black bird-faced male figure, uh, because there there can be um, there can be other deities that fit that similar description. So context has to be looked at, as well as any inscriptions that are found on a painting, or on the base of a sculpture. So that's the crow-faced Mahakala uh, and just looking at, at some confusions that can arise. So you can press the like button, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can also make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.